Hey everybody, it's Vic Merck TCG, just bringing you another deck profile. Uh, this time is going to be kind of a fun deck. It's a mixture of two different decks that I liked in the past that I still like now. Um, it's a little bit interesting because it does a lot of non-destruction removal. It's um, Punk Tri Brigade. So pretty much the Punk Engine sets up the Jam Drive or the Dragon that can bounce to either three to five cards from the field. And then of course the Tribal Gate Engine sets up Appalooza or Double Dragon Lords and um, the Trap Card. Oh, same thing, I get the Punk Trap Card as well and like a nap piece. But yeah, um, let me just go straight onto the deck profile. Give me one second. Okay, so starting off, I'm going to start off with the Punk Engine. Starting off with this, of course you play three Neo Punk Xeomen. Um, well, I'm sorry, no Punk Xeomen. It's the main start of the deck. You always want to see it. Uh, three Fox Tune. This is the second best start of the deck. Of course, this also goes well with your Tri Brigade engine since it is a beast. Next, for some two ofs, you play the two Ogre Dance. Um, searches the Almond, searches whatever common piece you need. The two Deer Note. Um, you could probably get away with playing just one of this. I am playing 42 cards in the deck. But uh, this has always worked for me at two at least. And then one of the one Wagon, the one Madam Spider, and the one Shir Shirakusai. So of course Fusion Summon and Synchro on your opponent's turn. Move that light a little bit. Uh, that's it for the monsters. For the rest of the punk engine, I'm playing the one field spell. Um, this card is busted. It lets you draw two cards per turn. And you can still draw cards on your opponent's turn when you go to Synchro on your opponent's turn. It's pretty good for the deck. And then the one trap card. I was originally going to play the second one as well. But um, this one just came up more. Just a little imperm gain back life. And the last card for the punk engine, of course, three E-Telly. You have to play E-Telly when you're playing punk. All the level threes are sidekicks. Next, for the Tri Brigade package. Now, this is a little bit smaller of a package. I'm going to start off with Triple Fractal. Uh... Be able to see this in your opening hand just to be able to search any of the pieces that you need. So searching, um, pitching this, adding, sending Nerval, adding Kit to go off from there, or doing the full thing of sending Kit, adding, sending Nerval, then adding Crass. Um, yeah, you just want to be able to see it. Next, I am playing the two Nerval. You only really need two in this deck. Two kit, same thing. Don't really need much more. And then the two crass. Now this card actually does come up a little bit more. Uh, that's why I'm still playing it at two. Because you can make nappies with this with any of the level three punks. And then of course the one trap. Um, thought about playing two of this, but you really only need the one. Next, for some hand traps. I'm playing two ash blossom. Two Nibiru, and then one Ghost Ogre and one DD Crow. Um, the DD Crow was kind of a last minute thing. Originally, I think I was playing three Book of Moons, but um, DD Crow is actually searchable in this deck thanks to Shrog. Whenever that's sent to Grave, depending on how many Banished Beast, Wing Beast, uh, Beast Warrior monsters there are, you can search a monster. Being able to search DD Crow is pretty good, especially for this format. And then, of course, Ghost Ogre is just searchable by the Punk Engine. And the last three hand traps are three imperm. Ash and imperm are probably the best two hand traps of the format. Nib is pretty close up there, and Droll's good too. Originally, Droll was in the deck, but I ended up taking it out. Didn't like it as much. The last five cards in the deck are just um, going second slash consistency cards, I guess. Two talents, two book of moon, and the one call by the grave. Um, these cards, of course, help you play through boards and play through hand traps and everything. That's it for the main deck. For the extra deck, now the one thing in the extra deck that I did wish I played was a Link 1. I probably should have played All Mirage or something just to make my brick hands a little bit better. Like say if I just drew the Tri Brigade engine and it was like just Kit or Nerval, I could have still been able to play, but it's all good. Started off with some of them. The Double Dragon Lords. The Donner Dagger for Harry. Now you can summon this off of 
the Tribrigate effects, or you can just summon up. It is a generic link too, so that's another reason why I played that. Um, the one Furgit, the one Bear Rum, uh, the one Rugal, the one Appaloosa, the Axis Code, of course, going for game, and I played Double Omen. Um, this is at two because, of course, you can use the first one as a combo extender just to search out another piece and keep on going. And then, of course, second one would be for the trap. Next, play a few synchros in this deck since I am playing the Punk Engine. Of course, Punk Jam, Dragon Drive. Um, the Chariot Beast. This beats any deck that needs the spells to survive. Um, Borlo Savage because you can actually... Make this as your other level 8 synchro since you are playing the two Deer Note and pretty much equipped any of your Tri Brigade monsters that are already in the grave. Like a Shrog is pretty good, gives it 4 negates and an extra 1500 attack, so it's not too bad. Um, the one level 11 Punk Dragon, like I said, with this card, you're normally bouncing about 3 to 5 different cards with it, or at least you can. The one Psychic in Punisher, um, of course, you're paying out a lot of life. So, getting this pretty big, just for going for games, pretty good. And then the last card, of course, is the Fusion, the Rising Carp. You have to play one of it. It's a very good card, though. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so that, that's pretty much it. Um, it's just a nice little deck to have people play around with their locals. It can do something pretty well. I think I just need to tweak the build a little bit and make it a little bit better. But um, I feel like it could be pretty good this format. All right, guys. Now, I do actually have a case tournament tomorrow at my friend Bradley's shop, Throwback Jacks. Shout out to them. Um, I probably will not be playing this deck. I'll probably play another deck. But depending on how well I do, you'll probably see that on the channel next. Um, and yeah. Everybody, this is Vic Merck, TCG, signing off.